morning students welcome to the class today in this class we shall learn lesson 10 participles present participle and past participle take page number 34 participles are words derived from verbs participles make from words the two kinds of participles are the present participle and the past participle present participle the present participle is formed by adding ing to the verb see the present participle is formed by adding ing to the verb example walk plus ing walking sing plus ing singing read plus ing reading ent plus ing ending like that verbs ending in e drop the e and add ing the words ending in e see right what is the spelling of right w r i t e so the word is ending in e if the word is ending in e we drop the ending letter e and add ing right writing w r i t i n g writing w r i t i n g right the word is ending in e so the last letter e we drop that last letter and add ing to make the present participle right writing the spelling w r i t i n g and dance dancing what is the spelling of dance d a n c e the last letter is e so you shall you should drop e the last letter and add i n g dance dancing what is the spelling d a n c i n g that's the spelling next word drive what's the spelling of drive d r i v e the last letter is e so you should drop e then add i n g d r i v i n g that is driving that is present participle and like that the other words verbs ending in a consonant preceded by a vowel double the consonant and add ing if the verbs ending in a consonant preceded by a vowel see a run it is preceded by u the vowel a run and the word is ending in n that is a consonant but before n there is a vowel if that is the case the last letter will be doubled n will be doubled means to n you should write run running r u n n i n g running like the swim the last letter is m and before that a vowel is there i swim so m m should be doubled s w i m m i n g swimming like the stop the last letter of stop is p but before that there's a consonant but before that there is a vowel o so the last letter will be doubled shut shutting spin spinning and 
The present participle is used in the continuous tenses that you know. In We have already learned the tenses. So you know about the continuous tense. The present participle is used in continuous tenses. I am going to school. G-O-I-N-G. -I -I that is the present participle. Going. Go. Going. I am working. I am working. Work. Plus ing, I am working. That is continuous tense, I am working. So the present participle is used in continuous tenses. They are cleaning the room. It was raining last night. I shall be going there. You have been traveling all night. These are continuous tenses. Present continuous tenses. So, the present participle is also used as an adjective. In two cases, present participle used. Present participle is used. First, in continuous tenses. Second, it is used as an adjective. The barking dog frightened me. Here. Dog is the noun and the barking is adjective. The barking dog. The barking dog frightened me. I saw a singing bird. Here bird is the noun and the singing is adjective. So these are present participles. Now next past participle. <coughs> Many verbs form their past tense and past participle forms by adding ED. Example, work. Work, worked. See. Work, worked, worked. Here work and ED with the verb work. Work, worked. It is past tense. Also, it is past participle. Worked. Same. In many cases, the past tense and the past participle are same. Many verbs form their past tense and past participle forms by adding ed. Work, worked. Look, looked. L double O K. Look, looked. L double O K E D. L double O K E D. Looked. That is, past tense is looked and past participle also is looked. And a verb ending in e add only d. If the verb is ending in e, see, like, l-i-k-e, this word is ending in e, like. In this case, past participle will be liked, l-i-k-e-d. You should add only d, not e-d. E, e is there, like, l-i-k-e. And you add only d, l-i-k-e plus d, l-i-k-e plus d, liked. And uh, past tense and past participles are same there also. Like, liked, liked. And uh, move, mood, mood. And the verb ending in Y. Drop the Y and add I-E-D. Copy. The verb is ending in Y. C-O-P-Y. Copy. In this case, Y, you drop Y and add I-E-D. Copy, copied. C-O-P-I-E-D. Copied. And uh, past participle and past tense are same there also. Copy, copied, copied. And uh, worry, worried, worried. And uh, some verbs have the same form for present tense, past tense and past participle. Present tense, past tense and past participle. See, cut. That is the present tense. Cut. C-U-T. Cut. And what is the past tense of cut? Same word. Cut. Uh, that is past participle. And uh, past tense. The same word. Cut. 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 There is, there is no change. There is no change. C-U-T. Cut. 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 Same present tense, past tense, and a past participle. And a shut. That also is like that. There, is, there also is no change. Shut, shut, shut. Some, verb, some verbs have different 
forms for the past tense and the past participle. See, that you should remember and learn. Some verb has a different forms of past tense and a past participle. Example, write, W-R-I-T-E. What is the past tense of write? You know, wrote. What is the spelling? W-R-O-T-E. And what is the past participle? Written. W-R-I-T-T-E-N. Written. Write, wrote, written. Like that. Fly. What is the past tense of fly? Flew. And what is the past participle? Flown. F-L-O-W-N. What is the spelling of flu? F-L-E-W. That is past tense. Fly, flu, flown. The past participle is used in the perfect tense forms. Past participle is used in the perfect tense forms. Example, Manju has written a poem. That is a perfect tense. Manju has written a poem. That is a perfect tense. In perfect tenses, this form, this form is used. They had forgotten the whole story. And a past participle is also used as an adjective. Present participle is used as an adjective. Like that past participle also is used as an adjective. The broken glass is lying there. Glass is the noun. Glass is noun and broken is the adjective. The broken glass. It is used as an adjective here. He gave a written complaint. Gave a written complaint. A written, that is a past participle. And the complaint is the noun. The school is in a crowded locality. Crowded locality. Crowded is past participle and the locality is noun. See, page number 36. Some of the common verbs which form their past tense and the past participle forms in an irregular, irregular manner are given below. See, arise, arose, arisen. Awake, awoke, awoken. Be, was, ya, were, been. Like that. Page number 36. Page number 37. Page number 38, page number 39, and page number 40. These words you read and learn. The following words do not change in the past tense and the past participle. Broadcast. It will not change in past tense, your past participle. Like that, cast, your cut, forecast, hit, hurt, let, put, Read, set, shed, shut, slit, slip, slit, split, spread, telecast, thrust, upset. These words uh, do not change. Now take page number 41. See, some sentences in the present continuous tense are given below. Rewrite them in the present perfect tense. One example is given here. The team is leaving for Germany. What is the present perfect form of this sentence? The team has left for Germany. You know, you have already learned the present perfect tenses. In present perfect tenses, before the verb, you should use has, ya, have. Has with the singular and have with the plural. Here you see the team. That's a singular subject. So has is used here. Has. And after that, past participle, left. For Germany. See, the team has left for Germany. The team is singular and after that you should use has and after that past participle. Okay. The team has left for Germany. Uh, okay. Second exercise. She is writing a book on environment. Here she is the subject. So after she, what will come? Has. She has. And after that past participle of the verb. 
writing is the verb here. So, she has written a book on environment. Next, Usha is speaking to her uncle. Usha is the subject here. He is speaking. That is the verb here. So, so, Usha is singular. So, you use has. Usha has. And speak. What is the past participle of speak? Spoken. So, Usha has spoken to her uncle. The sun is rising in the east. Here you see. The sun, singular, is rising. That's the verb here. Is rising should be changed. Has risen. Risen is the past participle of rise. Risen. The sun has risen in the east. The thieves are stealing money from the bank. Here, the thieves are the the thieves is the subject. The thieves that is plural. Plurals it is a plural subject. So you have to use not ha has but how. The thieves how and what is the past participle of steal? Stolen. The thieves have stolen money from the bank. That's answer. She is buying new clothes. She is the subject here. By bought. That is the past participle. By bought. So she has bought new clothes. So like that. You write the other exercises. Write the answers in your textbook itself with a pencil. Okay, students. Learn in 12 and come to the next class. Thank you.